magandang umaga mga bata. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang 4 steps to solve word problems in mathematics the easy way. Step 1. Understand the problem. What are you trying to figure out? Unawaing maigi ang problem. This is the problem. Yesterday, Jok Jok saw 14 birds in their backyard. Today, he saw 12. How many birds did he see in all? In this problem, what are you trying to figure out? O ano ang nakikita nyo sa problem? Kung ang nakita nyo at sasabihin nyo, how many birds did Jok Jok see in all? Then, tama kayo. Step 2. Get a plan o magplano kung papaano nyo sasagutin ang question. Kayo ba ay mag-a-add or subtract? Ito ba ay addition or subtraction? Always look for clues. Here are some clue words that will help you decide what to do. Kapag addition, ito ang mga clue words. In all, all together, some, and total. At kung subtraction, clue words naman, hanapin mo ang mga salitang How many more? How many are left? And the difference. Balikan natin ang example kanina. Yesterday, Jok Jok saw 14 birds in their backyard. Today, he saw 12. How many birds did he see in all? Kung ang nakita nyo or may nakita kayo na salita na in all, tama kayo. Ibig sabihin, ang problem is about addition. Ngayon, dahil nakita natin na in all, tayo ay mag add Dahil sa na naintindihan nyo na ang problem at meron na tayong plano, ang susunod na gagawin natin ay ito. Punta na tayo sa step 3. We will write a number sentence using the information in the problem and work it out. If you write 14 plus 12 equals 26. Then, Jok Jok so 26 birds in all. Kung ulit, kung ang sagot nyo ay 26, kayo ay tama. Ang pinakalas step 
for look back. Tanungin ang sarili. Tama ba ang sagot ko sa question? Here are the steps once more. Uulitin ko. Step 1. Understand the problem. O unawaing maigi ang problema. Step 2. Magplano. Get a plan. And step 3. Solve it. And step 4. Look back or check your answer. Thank you very much kids for listening and God bless you. See you again next time for another Mathematics.